what up my people for those uh watching in the future i know nobody's on here yet but i just want to say that uh make sure you check out dnkknives.com guys and uh if you purchase something from there you can use this coupon code behind the edge 10 to get yourself 10 percent off there we go i did not realize that everybody could see that i was getting ready to go live before i actually went live um which is cool i didn't realize that had no idea ginger fisher thank you buddy I turned 44 today old man angelo how you doing buddy <clears throat> yeah we see how <laughs> thank you bluetooth blades <coughs> Justin Ohio, how you doing? I know I haven't been around much, guys. Been uh, working my tail off. Justin uh, or Bojo, hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you. Uh, how are, how's everybody's weekend going? I hope well. Can everybody hear me? Hey, Ken. Happy birthday. Um, I have an air conditioner right here next to my setup, and it's going, just a fan. Um, will you guys uh, let me know how it sounds? Can you hear me okay? Bluetooth, yes. I have two knives currently on the table with uh, K390. LCAP, thank you. Uh, Ken, thank you. Yes, I did hit 2,000 subs as well, guys. So we hit that milestone. Which is freaking awesome. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Top dog, how you doing, buddy? Already 11 of you on here. That's awesome. Haven't been putting out much content, uh, for one, because I don't have a lot of content knives. I haven't been able to get anything in, and I don't want to show the same old stuff over and over and over, because I know you guys do not appreciate that. Robert Feely, how you doing? Um, but I'm working on some stuff. I'm uh, right in the middle of uh, just started my business, so have been incredibly busy with that. Um, it's been nonstop with that, actually. But uh, I haven't forgot anybody, for sure. Um, we might do a giveaway today for this uh, Max Ace Mamba. Great titanium liner lock. Um, we'll do that in a little while, but just want to give everybody a heads up. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to give this away. Um, I usually never have more than 20, 25 people on here. So uh, that'll probably be easy to do without uh, a big deal. Um, I'll just pull up the, I'll pull up a, doo -doo -doo -doo, another screen like that. And then I can just do a number generator and we'll, figure it out from there just now learning how to use this uh stream yard really well can i get a uh a sound check please anybody dave wamsley how you doing buddy did you get your knife that i sent sent it a couple days ago Uh, El Cap, I have zero plans for my birthday. Um, you guys and my wife are the only people that knows it's my birthday. Thank you, Top Dog and Kelly. Yeah, I have no plans. Uh, not buying anything, not doing anything. Um, went and picked up a trailer today for my business. Um, and other than that, I haven't, I haven't been doing much at all. I'm not working at least, so I'll take that. 
I thought it'd be a good time since I'm not working. Oh, David, it's your birthday too. Well, happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. I figured that today, since I'm not doing anything and I'm not working, uh, good time to get on go live just because I haven't been doing any content and, or that much. I've been putting up shorts as much as I can, um, which has been going okay. That's where actually how I hit my 2,000 subscribers is just from the shorts. And they're fun to do and, and all that good stuff. They don't pay anything, obviously, but I think the, the, the biggest one I've, uh, <clears throat> yeah, eight months, the biggest um, short I've ever had or the best one was like 10,000 views, and I think it made like 30 cents. So it's pretty good. Turned 40, 41 on the 12th. My family were the only ones that knew, yeah. It, I don't get into birthdays unless it's my kids or my wife. Uh, Top Dog is, is just alive or we're just hanging out, buddy. You can be here or, or not. Anybody can be here. Drink water. How you doing? Um, and as far as doing a giveaway, just anybody that's on here will be able to uh, participate. What I'll probably do later is I'll pull up a number generator, um, like right here, and uh, we'll uh, and I'll uh, everybody will pick a number one through whatever, um, something like that. We'll figure it out. Yeah, the Adam's a great knife, Bluetooth. Uh, I love this thing. Um, great knife. I was actually carrying it today. And yeah, Kelly, it is just another day, man. When you get to a certain age, it just doesn't matter anymore. Um, I don't want to be any older. Sometimes I feel much older than I am. I do know that there's a huge difference between 34 and 44. Because <clears throat> 10 years ago, I was still a maniac, man running up and down ladders all day no problem now every time i stand up half of my bones pop and crack and but i've been in manual labor my whole life so yeah tsd ted how you doing thank you what's everybody carrying today like i said a second ago i was carrying the atom and I actually rolled the edge on it, uh, doing something dumb with it. I was using it as a scraper. Uh, Robert Freely. Yeah, I bet, buddy. I bet 61. That's My dad's 65, and he tells me every time I see him that uh, just be grateful that I'm not as old as him yet. Anyway, I was scraping something off the floor that got stuck to the floor somehow, something the kids did, I guess, and it... It rolled the edge on me, so I told you. I'd be okay. I told you not to I know you did. It's okay. A bailout, that's a good knife. I'm guessing the M4 version L Cap or are you carrying the three V version? Either one's great, but I prefer the M4 myself. Granny, how you doing? Sixty one of do construction has beat the crap out of me. I bet it has, buddy. That's exactly how I feel. gotten me as well uh, I do trim carpentry at the moment so well, I have for the past 15 years so I'm always on my knees constantly Kaiser Doberman Manly Wasp and a Phoenix uh, TK 22 I forgot about flashlight I uh, I have um, an Olight parent that I use as a headlamp for work because I'm working in new construction. They don't have any electricity in them yet. So um, I use it a lot so I can see, but when I'm not working, I just pop it in my pocket and carry it around. It's a crazy bright 2100 lumens. Excellent. I've had this thing about three years. 
no issues whatsoever. Literally use it every single day. Great light. Michael Miller, how you doing? Uh, PM2 and 15V. That, sir, is a classic. Great, great knife. Killer knife. 21 in here right now. That's awesome. Yeah, this is my second... Uh, this is the second uh, band I bought for it. And I'm definitely due for a new one because this one is beat to crap. Beat to crap. Sean McDonald, how you doing? Uh, Kaiser Clipper and a Benchmade Mini Grip. Nice. Ken's carrying the Guardian 3 and the Moyarl from Migron. Also great carries. Paul Steve Raccoon, black stone wash blade with white G10 handle from Angelo. I have not checked that knife out yet. Has everybody has anybody seen the the new uh here's pull it up. The new uh do, 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 do. what's it called? Damn it. Now why is that bigger than the other? Hold on, let me try and make this bigger, guys. Sorry. Let me figure this out. I don't know how to make this any bigger. There we go. So, uh, I saw it a minute ago. This is the new Riot folder. It's in uh, Nitro V. Give me one sec, guys. I'll find it here. There it is. These here, the PLXT Nitro V blade. Um, 112 bucks. It's a three inch blade. It's kind of small. It's got some kind of wacky, uh, locking mechanism here. I don't know of, but for 112 bucks, Riot made, it might be pretty decent. Looks like it has decent forward choil there. Uh, three inch blade is a little small for me, but I don't know. Thank you, Tom. Buck 110. Good choice, sir. Ken, yes, it is. I think they're going to start dabbling into the, uh, the, what do you call it? Budget realm. Jake Anderson, how you doing? Yeah, an XL version would be nice. Uh, it also has a reversible clip that looks like it's titanium. It might not be, but it also looks like you can use the same clip off of, uh, um, to do, 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 darn it, the Sabenza. Top dog, I don't know, buddy. I haven't seen anybody uh, reviewing one yet, but. Uh, metal complex or. Um, the other big channels, Jared probably got one from them. I don't get anything from bigger, bigger knife companies, so I will have to buy one if I want to check it out. But Lost my connection. Anyway, Forced SLR. Broke ass knives. How you doing? Pretty fly for knife guy. How you doing, buddy? We got 28 in here. I think the highest I've ever had in here was uh, 30. I'm with this. I don't know what's going on with my internet connection, guys. I am sorry. I apologize. Um, might be because there's a lot of people hooked to it. I have no idea. I know I am sitting right next to the router, so 
I have no idea why it's doing that, but my, my wife's going to tell some people to get off the internet for a minute to see if it helps. John Ricks, how you doing, bud? Hope everybody's having a great day. We did hit the 2,000 subscriber mark. I do appreciate you guys. And also for the ones that are members and patrons, I appreciate you guys uh, being uh, being patient with me while I while I'm uh, you know not putting out a lot of content because I'm trying to focus on getting my business going. Yeah. This is the Atom. This is the newer Atom than the one with the new uh, thumb studs and a little bit better opening um, or uh, better access to the lock bar. It's a fantastic knife. Top dog. I appreciate you guys hitting the like button. Thank you. If I cut in and out, guys, I do apologize, but I think it's back good now. I think we're good. But uh, also, there's a Koenig Arius just sitting here at DLT. Surprised that nobody snatched that up. It is $1,000, but very surprised nobody snatched that up. It's a killer knife. I think for $1,000, though, I could buy two really really killer knives or three but still usually these sell really fast even at the thousand dollar mark it didn't used to be that high they used to be you know six seven hundred bucks and then they just said uh to heck with it why make it affordable when we can sell it for a thousand this is a good deal to me. This is the uh, Dead Reckon Knives Ridgeback uh, Titanium Integral Handle, one piece, uh, Magna Cut Blade. Mine's not Magna Cut, but they have uh, the, the main options Magna Cut. This one here is uh, CPM 3B. I asked them for that. And this is the only one in existence with the titanium handle that is CPM 3B. Um, usually they use the 3B on um on the aluminum versions harry balsage how you doing bud so the the owner sean is a great guy by the way um he said this would be the only one he makes this way um specifically for me so that's that's pretty cool um there's some micro milling in here i know you guys can't see it on the screen but uh i've been carrying this for a couple weeks working on the the month long review on it. Um, that's why you haven't seen a video on it other than the unboxing. So far, the only thing I don't particularly care for is the pocket clip. Um, and not the way it looks, that doesn't bother me at all. I wish it was a little longer and it was easier to in and out of the pocket. Um, it's fine when you're wearing blue jeans but for some reason when I'm wearing khakis or uh, cargo pants, they're not in and out of the pocket very well at all. But $420, that's exact same price as uh, Wee Knives charges for their Integral, or there are two different Integrals. So 400 bucks for an American-made Integral that is just straight up rock solid. To me, it's a decent deal. I think it's a good deal. That just shows that some of the Chinese companies are uh, probably charging a little too much for basically the same knife. And this one also has a proprietary button and uh, pivot system. John Ricks. Yes. That is the Police 4 and K390, and it is my favorite knife. Uh, I like it more than any of the other knives on the table. By a long shot, 
It is my workhorse. I carry it to work 90% of the time. It's between this one and the K390 uh, um, low temperance. This one's a little small for me, but I do love it. This is definitely my favorite, John. Yeah, Forrest, check them out. They'll be they'll be there in Atlanta. Bottom right, you talking about can uh, the attention to detail or this? Um, this is a handmade custom uh, by Tim Wilson. It's in his own Heron Bone Damascus. It's a full authorship. He made every piece of it, even the screws. Um, really nice knife. It's not my style of knife, but it is very beautifully made. 100% handmade. No CNC at all. Gorgeous knife. Uh, and then this one is the Attention to Detail Mark II. Uh, this is a crazy awesome knife. Um, quite expensive, but it's also a uh, American-made custom. Uh, he does use CNC, but hand ground blades, hand sharpened, everything's hand assembled. He makes his own screws, from what I understand. Uh, everything's made there in shop. And Doug, the owner, is an excellent dude, great guy. I used to have an attention to detail knife. They're very, very much um, rock solid, just as solid as the Harzy, for sure. <clears throat> Lots of options on these. And not very many of them are exactly the same as another one, if that makes any sense. And I found my, my son found this out in the yard that I lost two years ago. My uh, Maverick Custom pry bar. He was out there by the animals and looked down and saw it laying in the yard. It's been out there for two years. Obviously, it's titanium, so there's no rust or anything on it. It was dirty. That was it. So, thankfully, he found that. So, I've been carrying that every day again, which is awesome. Thinking about getting another MSI one day soon as well because Original Goat is making scales for him. titanium and aluminum which i'll probably want titanium but forrest is carrying the harzy today it's a great choice it's one of my favorite knives too i prefer the harzy over a sabenza uh over the xm18 um to me it's a uh, all around better for me let's just say that i guess it's just better for me i like it a lot <clears throat> Here's some more attention to detail knives. Cool knives. They are very expensive though, $700. Bluetooth, you can, I hope you do get one, buddy. Pretty fly for knife guy. Shaman Leatherman Rev, Streamlight MicroStream, and a Top Dog Hank by Forrest SLR. Awesome. Awesome. 30 people, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Marcel, how are you doing, sir? DSK Stealth. Man, that is a killer knife, Marcel. That is a killer knife. I love DSKs. They're so awesome. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, while I'm doing absolutely nothing on my birthday. <clears throat> I guess I needed a break too. Bluetooth said, did anybody get the S90V Penguin? S90V is a, a steel that I don't know why is isn't used more. I mean, it's pretty, it's getting pretty widely used, but man, it, it's, it should be used more. Humphrey, how you doing bud? Cancept. Mini Helix. That sounds pretty cool. Not sure which one that is, but I'll look it up here. I 
how's it doing, uh, Bluetooth? I had one in uh, a Penguin Plus and M390 that just gave away about a month ago, maybe a little longer. <laughs> So they, I got the uh, notification that my pocket clip was shipped. That was a week ago, and I ordered it in January. Um, and it's, it was shipped last week, but I still haven't received it. Uh, I, it must be coming from the moon or Mars. I have no idea, but hopefully I'll get it soon so I can finish this guy up. Um, it has the regrind by by uh Satu Dave and uh I'm gonna get rid of the lettering on it. Um maybe do some work to the backspacer, maybe some file work and then put that new clip on it and then this will be the closest thing I have to a custom eighty ten. It'll actually be the closest I'll ever be to having a custom eighty ten because they're three thousand dollars plus. <clears throat> Yeah, sorry guys, no cake. Gons, how you doing, bud? No cake, no uh, no party, none of that stuff. This is this is my birthday party, sitting here on a live with you guys. We don't really do that around here except for the for the kids, and my kids are getting older, so my son will be turning eighteen at the at the end of the summer. So uh, he won't be having any more parties. And uh, my daughter's 13, so she'll get a couple more, especially one for a 16th. Yeah, Kelly, that's probably what it is. It was sent out USPS. <laughs> Bluetooth, I'll make sure I check out that video. Everybody who's not subscribed, please go check out uh, Bluetooth Blades. And uh, anyone else who has a channel on here, I'm, I know I have a few of you guys that have your own channels. And I'm subscribed to them. I just can't remember, guys. I'm, apologies. Um, yeah. So at some point today, I don't know. There's more people on here now. I will probably, uh, we'll try to give away this Mamba, the Max Ace Mamba, on this live Um so make sure if you do step away that you come back. Uh, you know, we'll probably give it away around at an hour mark. Wish I could give away more, um, but there's no. Uh, uh, I, this is all the knives I have at the moment. Yeah, this is a great knife for the money. Uh, 130 bucks or so. All titanium great knife excellent action great feel in the hand <clears throat> angelo said go check out doggone john well, robert we will try to put this in somebody's hands today guys um I said last time i did a live that i'm not doing any more giveaways on knives i got for free uh, behind a paywall for members or for patrons <clears throat> um, because of you know it's kind of it's kind of scummy to do so for now on the only knives I give away on those giveaways would be the knives I paid for <clears throat> and also on the lives which this one I paid for I have the box and all that good stuff for it as well. I think it came with a bunch of extra parts, too. Fook doozy. How you doing, bud? Now, here's the box for it. Pretty nice box for a $100 knife. Yeah, it came with some extra screws and stuff. Oh, and a lock bar insert and detent. Extra. So, that's awesome. So if you wear this one out, it came with an extra 
which I wish a lot of, I wish other knife companies did that. And that is definitely a ceramic detent. So that's good. It's also pretty rare for a uh, liner lock, titanium liner lock to have a lock bar insert, which I think is a good call. Pretty cool. And it's a relatively inexpensive knife. <clears throat> And I say relatively because we all know how not how expensive knives are. Knives are life. How you doing, bud? Fook Dozy must be pretty popular. I don't know. I don't think I've seen you on here before. How are you doing, sir? Thank you guys for hanging out. It is uh appreciated. Thirty people on here we're getting close to the maximum amount of people i've ever had on live that's awesome yeah john i i know it 125 130 bucks is pretty expensive but um Considering what you're getting, it's not a bad price. And uh, Marcel says you're over liner locks. That's not my favorite either. I mean, I prefer a frame lock over everything. Um, then this is probably not a uh, a uh, common thing, but uh, my second favorite lock is a lock back, um, mostly because of the strength. And I just like it. Uh, it's probably not the fidgetiest thing in the world, but I, I really like a uh, lock back. Fook Doozy, I appreciate it, bud. And this is only, I think, my fourth live ever. So you haven't missed much, that's for sure. <clears throat> El Cap says Axis Lock is his favorite, and that unfortunately is probably my least favorite. That's why you don't see any on the table. I mean, I don't have anything really against it. It's just not my favorite. Um, I like a liner lock better than that for some reason. And I, and I don't know why. Everybody has their. I like lock backs and uh, frame lock for sure. Frame lock is my favorite. I'm not even a huge fan of the uh, compression lock. It's okay, but it's not. You know, I'm not super picky on locks anyway. I really don't care as long as it locks and and it works. That's all I care about is the fact that it works. Can I agree, buddy? Because I can sit here and I can fidget with this knife just fine. And uh, I drive my wife crazy with the lockbacks too because they tend to be kind of loud. Especially this one. This is a very loud knife, and I can uh, I can handle this knife one-handed really, really well. It's really well balanced. It's one of my favorite knives, the 8010. But of course, the frame lock is going to be my all-time favorite, probably forever. I don't think it'll ever change. I don't foresee it ever changing. Oh, I do have one more knife. I forgot. It's in my case that sits on my desk. And that's the original cleric, to, or the cleric. Ken, you're right. It is important. Because if you're not driving her crazy, she doesn't know you're there. Or that, in my case, that's how it is. She wouldn't even know I was there unless I was flipping my knife. But the original cleric... Um, not the greatest out the front in the world, but I like it. And I think it's, uh, I don't know. I like it probably because of the historical factor of it being, uh, their first heretics first out the front they ever made. This one's low serial number in the, uh, two or three hundreds. I can't really read it. It's dark in here. <clears throat> These are, uh, getting harder to get 
I did Mike, Michael Miller. I did sell it. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to at all, but I had, I had to sell it to pay for my truck getting fixed. Um, I've been selling pretty much everything I have just to get knives for content and to get my business going, which hopefully will help me pay for more knives in the future, um, for the channel. But right now it's just what I had to do. So pretty much everything on the table is going to stay, but who knows? <clears throat> Sometimes you just got to sell. If not, I have no real ability to get a lot of stuff in to show you guys or to talk about. So do what you got to do. You guys know how it is. <clears throat> and I sold it for a pretty good price. I sold it for less than what I paid for it. And that's very rare for an 8020. Most people pay uh, or most people sell those for a couple hundred more than table. I think I sold it for 650 which is less than table price on a hard to get knife, but is what it is. I'll get another one one day. That particular knife drove my wife the craziest because it was so loud and clacky. She called it clacky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every live stream, I start losing my voice about halfway through. I know a lot of you guys are members, and I really appreciate that. I know there was a lot of memberships donated, so thank you all for all the ones that are members. I appreciate that. Not everybody on here, but just about all of you are members. That's that's super sweet. Folk doozy, I like clacking knives too. They make me happy. I like the sound of it. I like the sound of it. This one makes a. This one has a little ting to it, like a, uh, like a, uh, uh, shoot. I forget the damn knife. A Herman has a little bit of a ring to it when deployed. Granny, I guess so. I don't really, yeah, we're about halfway through. I don't really, uh, like have a specified time, but... If you want, we can try to figure out how we're going to give away this Mamba. Um, what I'll probably do is pull up a uh, random.org. Because I don't have... StreamYard, uh, I don't have the StreamYard giveaway tool because I have never updated my uh, my plan because I keep forgetting. So what we'll probably do is I'll pop up this here and we will uh, see if I can make this full screen. Yeah, and we'll all pick a number. What is there, 33 of you guys? I don't know how we'll do this. Everybody pick a number, and then I'll just generate it, and we'll go through the comments. I don't know how else to do it. I would like to give it away, and I know this is probably a really bad way to do it, but uh, we will figure that out in a minute. We will try to figure it out. Michael Miller, you pick 15. Everybody pick a number who wants to participate. Um, one through, let's say, 50. One through 50. And I know this is probably going to, somebody's going to overlap numbers. Jake Anderson, will you pick a, a lower number, please, buddy? One through 50. I think 22 has already been picked also. Like I said, this is going to be a bad. Yeah, Marcel and I'm me. You guys have both picked 22. Oh, 
I'll go over here and I'll type in 50. So if uh, the number that comes up, if more than one person has it, we'll do a knife off. TSD Ted, are you sure, buddy? It's just a free knife, man. You just pick a number if you want. There's 36 of you guys in here, number one through 50. And if nobody gets it, we'll pick another one. All right, Bluetooth. TSD Ted, I know this isn't the best way to do it, buddy, but this is all I have at the moment. Sorry, guys. Digital One Lantern, how you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for hopping in. This is such a dumb way to do this, guys. I'm sorry. Well, Ginger Fisher, if you're the first one to pick the number, then I will make sure I'll go all the way to the top. <clears throat> I'll have everybody stop commenting. I'll go all the way to the top and I will see who was picked that number first. And please only pick one number. Salamando, how you doing? Why should I be ashamed, bud? What am I missing? Uh, 1 through 50, Salamando, for the... Um, we're doing the... Uh, Max Ace Mamba. Great knife, all titanium, liner lock, but it has a lock bar insert, killer action. T-Fetch, hey done. Has everybody got a number in? This is probably going to end in chaos, but we're going to do it anyway. <clears throat> I have the box for it. I have everything for the knife. It's a killer knife. For the money, for sure. It's uh, Michael Miller, the steel is the SLD Magic, which is kind of like CPMD2, but it is a San Mai blade. So it has a 420 jacket the SLD magic is at the edge and you could see it if I don't have great lighting let me turn the light on see the sand my in the blade there Mia you how are you doing All right, guys, I'm going to draw this. I hope everybody has their number in, and I hope this is not too much chaos. So let's stop um, commenting just for a second. Jack D. Uh, Jack D is the last number. Let's see uh, what we got here. All right, going over to generate the number. Hopefully only one person picked the winning number, but here we go. Can everybody see it on the screen? I hope. All right. Here we go. 46. I'm going to go back through the comments and see if anybody had 46. I'm going to go all the way to the top, so give me just a second. So the first person to pick 46... If nobody picked that, we'll go back through and do it again. I'm scrolling now, guys. Give me just a minute.
don't see it yet. I see a 45. I'd like for the number to be right on, though, not the closest. So, yeah. Thank you, Salamando, for the birthday wishes. It is my birthday today. We're going to draw again. Let me uh, refresh this screen. And we're going to generate again. Here we go. Yeah, 45 is the closest, Ken, but I want it to be right on. So we're going to do it again. Here we go. Number seven. I know damn good and well somebody picked number seven. Thank you, Fuki, for my birthday wishes there. Top Dog has number seven. Um, I'm pretty sure he's the first one to have it. I'm going to the top again, guys. One second. Jake Anderson picked number seven. All right. Let me just shut up for a second here. All right. The very first number seven on here is Jake Anderson at 2.50 p.m. And I don't, let me go through here. And there was only one other number seven. I think was Top Dog. Yeah, top dog. So we'll have a uh, we'll have a draw off. So Jake Anderson and Top Dog will both pick again. So Jake Anderson and Top Dog, or never mind. Top Dog says give it to Jake. Are you sure, Top Dog? I'll draw just you two again. All right, Jake. It's yours, buddy. Do me a favor and email me. Uh, at the end of this live stream, I'll post an email in my... Um, and thank you, Top Dog, for, uh, for your generosity there, buddy. Jake, please make sure you email me after the live stream. I'll put the email in the live stream uh, description, or you can go to any of my videos, <clears throat> and it'll be in the description. Very nice of you, Top Dog, for uh, letting him have it. I appreciate that. That's awesome of you. Ken, thank you, buddy. You did not have to do that, but very much appreciated, sir. Very much appreciated. Very nice of you, sir. Yeah, any of my videos, Jake, I'll have I'll have that uh, email in there, um, and then uh, just send me your address and all that good stuff. We'll talk on the email. And I'll get you, uh, get it shipped out to you next week. 37 people in here. That is officially the most people I had have been a part of the live stream. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Jake, I hope you uh, enjoy your knife. Turn that light out. It's a great knife. It is 100% brand new, except for the fact that I carried it a couple times. So, otherwise, it's new. And I didn't carry it to work, so it was just regular all-day carry. Mind of Milton, how you doing, buddy? Didn't see you there. Oh, four Hemi, how you doing, buddy? Did you miss out on the giveaway? Sorry about that if you did. Yeah, near mint to like new in box. That's right. As close to new as a couple carries will allow it to be.
we'll consider this uh, the uh, 2,000 subscriber giveaway too, which I'll probably do something else for that. I don't know. Um, I'll give away something here for 2,000 subscriber giveaway. You guys were uh, awesome enough to subscribe and let me get that high. I honestly never thought I would hit that far. Working on remodeling the basement bathroom. Sounds like a task, my friend. And Ken, thank you, buddy. You didn't really didn't have to do that. I do, I do appreciate it, though, bud. I will be uh, doing the review on this guy soon. I have carried it for two weeks straight, and I'm going to carry it, continue to carry it. Great freaking knife. Quite expensive, but all American made. They make their own screws and everything. So, reversible pocket clip. This uh, show side where the pocket clip goes in reverse carry is is their uh, logo, which I thought was kind of cool how they put that in there. I could probably do without the flipper tab because I never use it. It'd be neat if they got rid of the flipper tab. Four-wheel choil works good. They have a another uh, blade style, too. It's like a... Uh, um, shoot. Like a warning. Like a warning. <clears throat> El Cap Addict, I agree. I'd probably just knock that on off there. I don't use it anyway. And it's not, it's okay. As, uh, it's an okay flipper, but it's not great. And button locks are hard to get just right with a flipper. But I like the, the finish on it. Killer knives. Yeah, I agree. I don't care. Not, as you see, there's the only other flipper that I have is the one I just gave away. Which well, this one's flipper only, but you can... You can catch that blade and reverse flick it. It's hard to do under camera, but but it can be done. Which is how I deployed it as well. No use for a flipper either. Now there's certain knives that are good with flippers, like a, a Shiro. What could be kind of weird if it wasn't a flipper. Um, ZT used to make good flippers back in the day. Now they make nothing I'm interested in. Um, the 452, the big one, uh, it's a good flipper. Big four-inch blade. And they got the Magna Cut one now, but I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's uh, soft as female thighs, but who knows? ZT's always ran their steel soft, or uh, as long as I know, anyway. Very soft. Anybody watching basketball this weekend? My team's already out of it, so I have no more interest in who wins or loses. 462 and 460 are killer knives. Uh, I'm a Kentucky fan because I live in Kentucky. I've always been a Kentucky fan, and they got beat by Little Debbie University. So now I'm going for uh, an SEC team, probably Tennessee um, or any SEC team that's still in it. I think it's Florida and Tennessee. It's all that's left. So... And if the SEC teams fall out, then, yeah, Salamando. Little Debbie University. That's who freaking beat us. It's insane. They were hitting every 
flipping shot, dude. Everything they threw up there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, one. That's wild. Dude. There's been a lot of upsets. Kathleen Smith, how you doing? A lot of upsets already in this tournament. Alabama and Tennessee, yeah. So I'm going to probably pull for Tennessee. Uh, even though I don't think they'll win it because they're too reliant on one player. But, you know, Robert Freely, thanks for hanging out, bud. I appreciate you. See you later. Yeah, the 562, that's a decent knife. Wisconsin got beat by James Madison. See, I didn't even know that. I knew that there's been a lot of upsets. And that's cool because my team's out of it, so I hope – I hope a freaking 14 or 15 seed wins the whole thing. I always pull for underdogs except for against my team. The uh, ZT0055, the 95, and the 393. The 393 was awesome. I used to have one of those. I didn't know that, Jake. I know I knew they didn't win. They've never won one, but I didn't know they were a Power Five school that hasn't won. Marcel, I agree with you. Bluetooth blades. Uh, largest flipper you have is the Pit Boss Two. I see them from time to time. They look pretty cool. Pretty cool. I used to love ADV, and I still like their knives. I still like his knives. Let's say that. Very well made. The Wii Scopio. I haven't checked that out. I asked, uh, I contacted Wii Knife Co. to see if they would send me anything for review. I didn't ask for a free knife. I told them I'd send it back in its original, you know, in its original condition. I would pay for shipping both ways. Um, and they kindly told me to fuck off. So I haven't tried uh, Wii in a while. At a 450, they always found it uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a, it's a small knife. The 562, yeah. That looks cool. I don't... Th I've had a 562, I believe can't remember there's so many of them and i've had a lot of them if you go on my instagram and go back a few years you'll see some zts i quit uh i quit buying them whenever they quit making the stuff that we want all they make is stuff i don't want <clears throat> the riot tiger that is a great looking knife uh very very good looking knife Riot makes a lot of really good-looking flippers as well. And I like their knives. For a Chinese brand, they do an excellent job, and I have no problem with Riot whatsoever. I don't really have a problem with the Chinese brands at all, but, you know, I prefer, uh, obviously, prefer American stuff, but... It's hard to afford American stuff anymore. Especially if you're a Benchmade fan. Very nice knives. I'm going to go ahead and put this over with its box. So I don't forget Mr. Jake Anderson's knife there. Yeah, the Riot Tiger is a great looking knife. I was looking at them the other day. Matter of fact, I'm going to look and see if they available still anywhere I don't even think DLT sells Riots I'm going to try Blade HQ oh I forgot about the Chavez kickstop Ken uh, Faulkner has one of those. There's the Yo Jumbo and uh, M4. Good 
good size knife, great blade steel. All right, Granny, thank you, buddy. For hanging out, that is. I, I do not care for Jade G10 at all, but Fook Doozy, thanks for hanging out, guys. We can probably end it. We hit the hour mark. I appreciate everybody hanging out. And uh, participating in the giveaway and stuff. And uh, I promise I'll... I will be uh, dropping some more reviews very, very soon. Salamando, Marsal, Bluetooth, Fook Doozy, everybody, I appreciate you guys. And thank you for the birthday uh, wishes. You guys are awesome. I will, uh, I'll be doing a review on the uh, attention to detail very soon. Um, and the dead reckon very soon as well. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. Angelo, thank you, buddy. Oh, for him, me. John Ricks. You guys have the great rest of your weekend. Oh, I'm 44, Salamando. I'm an old man. 44 years old. The cool thing, though, is, is no matter how old I get, my wife is still 10 years younger than me. So that's a that's a bonus. That is an absolute bonus. Jake, make sure you email me, buddy. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out.